Hello and welcome to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. Uh, this is part two of the advanced filter demo uh, from earlier. And so just to recap, we've got a list of data here on the left and we've replicated a few of the column headings, region, product, and salesperson over on the right, which allows me to use those headings and any data listed below as filter criteria so I can extract this, the rows that match to a separate location. So if I go to the data tab and on the data tab I choose advanced in the sort and filter section I indicate that I want to copy my filter results to another location my list range is A1 through D51 my criteria range is F1 through H2 now even though I have a salesperson column there I, I'm just not using it in this scenario I could add a salesperson too so I have three columns I could put you know criteria under each but I just have it under region and product and I'm going to say copy to and I'll choose let's say uh, F7 as the location where I want my results to go and I choose OK and so now the rows that say East and Ice Cream are copied to that to that range starting at A7, uh, F7 and that's great but the rub is if I change the filter right so let's say I want to look at uh, the West region and I'm not concerned with the product but I only want to see the West region where the salesperson was Jerry so changing the criteria here doesn't automatically change the results I've got to go back to the advanced tab reset the copy to another location feature uh, and then click OK and then I get my update and that can be a bit annoying so what I want to do is actually record a macro that will update the result range for me so the first thing we want to do is save our Excel file as a macro enabled workbook because by default we cannot store macros in an XLSX file which is the default file format so we go to the file tab and we choose save as and in the save as dialog box we'll choose save as type uh, Excel macro enabled workbook and I'm going to call it advanced filter uh, part 2 uh, with the .xlsm extension so now this file is capable of uh, housing the Visual Basic for Applications code that is a result of using the macro recorder. Uh, so the next thing I need to do is make sure I've got my developer tab turned on which it isn't by default so if your developer tab isn't on right click on any tab of the ribbon it doesn't matter where and choose customize the ribbon now once you choose customize the ribbon you can turn on the developer tab by putting a check mark on its box and now click OK and your developer tab will be available now we're set to record the macro so first let's change our criteria <clears throat> perhaps instead of looking at the, the sales by Jerry in the West region uh, we'll look at the sales of ice cream um, and I'll say ice cream sales oh by Elaine so we'll type Elaine as the salesperson so now I want to record uh, a macro that has me performing the refresh action uh, that takes me several clicks to do so we go on the developer tab and choose record macro and now the name of my macro cannot have any spaces in it so I'm just gonna call it refresh filter results refresh filter results and while I do have the option of assigning a keyboard shortcut like control and some additional keys I'm actually not going to do that here because I'm going to attach my macro to a button on my spreadsheet. So I'll just choose OK here. And now the macro recorder is observing the steps that I perform, which will be going to the data tab, choosing advanced, uh, reselecting the copy to another location, which is kind of an annoyance that you have to do that, which is why I want the macro. Uh, and then again, my criteria range is F1 through H2 and I'm going to be copying my results to F7 through I7 and I choose OK and now we see the results ice cream Elaine so that's it I just wanted it to redo the steps of re, uh, rerunning the advanced filter so if I'm done recording the macro I go to the developer tab and I choose stop recording my macro has now been recorded but I want to make it easy to run the macro when I've changed my uh, my criteria and there's several ways to do this that 
involve it automatically running when I change data but for for this exercise we're going to attach it to a button so as the user is ready they click the button to make it happen <clears throat> so on the developer tab in the section labeled controls I'll go to the icon that looks like a toolbox with a wrench and a hammer it's labeled insert and I'll choose the the icon and there are form controls and ActiveX controls in this example we'll be sticking with the form controls and I'll choose the first one which when you hover it it's labeled button control so I'm gonna click on the button form control <clears throat> and then in my in my workbook I'll simply draw out a small rectangle to represent the button and release <clears throat> when I do that the assign macro dialog box appears and I've only got the one macro here so I'll choose refresh filter results and choose OK so now I have a button <clears throat> that generically says button one but if I start typing while it's selected I'll just type uh, refresh here <clears throat> now once uh, <clears throat> once I've typed the title pardon me I can now use my mouse uh, to move the button to another position I can adjust its uh, its width I can sort of click on the face of it and move it around and maybe I'll just put it right up here next to the column headings and adjust its size a little bit so now I'm done uh, setting up my macro so when I click away from the button the little sizing handles disappear and the button is in that spot so let's make sure it works let's change our criteria I'm gonna change the product uh, to gumbo and I'd like to see all the gumbo sales by George so I've changed my criteria and I'll now simply click the refresh button and now my results are changed because that reran the macro which in essence did all those steps of going to the data tab going to advanced and uh, resetting the copy to another location and clicking OK and uh, if I change to let's say let's look at everything from the north region uh, as long as the salesperson uh, was uh, let's say uh, oh let's say uh, Jerry this time yeah we'll keep it on Jerry and say refresh and there are all the north region sales by Jerry that's it that's how we can use a macro to automate a process that would take a few clicks and and basically reduce it to one thanks for tuning in please come back soon for more Excel videos have a productive day